Well, did you know today is the first ever Richard Blade Day in Los Angeles? The city council made the announcement earlier this week, and Blade was on hand to accept that offer. Finally, I got a job in L.A., and that was at K-Rock. Or to everyone who grew up with it, go rock. And so it was... That was a turning point. From there, everything took off. I was asked to uh, Blade has been one of the most influential DJs in Southern California. He's also known for hosting TV shows and writing several books. He has seven of them, he tells me. Blade was born in England and became a U.S. citizen in 1988. He says until now, that was his proudest day of his life. And guess what? He's here in studio on Richard Blade oh. Day. Happy Richard Blade Day to you. Oh, thank you, Marla. It's always a happy day when I'm sitting next to you. Oh, it's been a while. Oh, come on. You don't need to but butter me up. <laughs> this is your day. Nothing to do with me. Uh, congratulations on the honor. How does it feel? You brought your pro proclamation with you. It's my new business card. <laughs> I, I don't leave home without it. I'm going to have to get it shrunk down. But I, I was blown away uh, when I did that speech there's a little clip of it there at the end i said i just wish my mom and dad was here to Aww. see it and i actually started crying it was a, a very emotional moment it's not something you take lightly i think because when you were growing up in england this was your dream oh absolutely to come to los angeles i so wanted to come here i grew up watching the monkeys listen Aww. to the beach boys and watching 77 sunset strip and then suddenly i'm a DJing on Sunset Strip and I'm interviewing the monkeys and yeah. it was crazy. Full circle. Yeah. Dreams do come true. They do. Yes. And they come true in Los Angeles. I mean, it, it's a fantastic city. So you take over K-Rock. Oh, go rock Oh my God. <laughs> That's amazing. In 1982, you just wow Southern California listeners. Why do you think you've had such an impact? I think it was right place at the right time. The English music was really taking over. Duran Duran, Depeche Mode, The Cure, The Smiths, New Order, Pet Shop Boys. And I was the one had the same accent as these guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, I became kind of a conduit for them. And I've always loved music. And I played disco back in the day. I played heavy metal for a while. But I loved New Wave. And so what I was saying on the air was genuine. This band is great. You know, Depeche Mode still one of my all-time favorite bands along with the Beatles you know I uh -huh. I, I like all kinds of music uh, new wave now you have first wave yeah. on Sirius XM right how does that compare to your old K-Rock days well the amazing thing is it's got an international audience is all over Canada America and the Caribbean and on the SXM app it's around the world I'll get requests from Australia from New Zealand and of course from all over America and now my DJ gigs where I would play locally on Sunset Strip etc now I'm doing gigs in New York in Toronto just put one in Portugal You're for next international. year. You're international, Richard. Crazy. We need an international Richard Blade Day. <laughs> it shouldn't just be in L.A. Oh, I'm happy with L.A. <laughs> I love L.A. Uh, uh, of course, you've, you've been in shows as well. Right. Uh, one, famously with Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker. Right. Uh, Girls Just Want to Have Fun. How was that? It's DTV time. <laughs> it was wonderful. I'd worked with Sarah on uh, a TV show called Square Pegs. And we got to get back together on Girls Just Want to Have Fun. And if I'd have known you brought that up, my wife had just bought me a dance TV t-shirt. Oh. I would have worn that for you as oh, well. No. Your, your headphones works perfectly. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, uh, you've brought some of your books as I well. I bought them for you. Oh, for me? Okay, that was uh, my autobiography, which became a, a bestseller. And I was oh. just thrilled with that. Like, give it uh, to me. A lot of pictures in there. 500 pages. Oh, my goodness. You've uh, written seven books, you've said. Seven books, four novels. Uh, the autobiography and two books of interviews. This is the latest one, the unlocked interviews, because the first one was the lockdown, which was done during COVID, when everyone oh, had wow. nothing but time to talk. Right. And then this was the bands going back out on the road after COVID, talking about what they were hoping to accomplish, like Duran Duran and Soft Cell and Simple Minds and Blondie. They're all in there. And that's for you, too. Well, Lots I'm, I'm going to have you sign these. That's oh, I would sure. be honored, Marla. Okay, what's next uh, for Richard Blade? You've done so much. Um, I've got a couple of movie ideas that oh. I would like to do, but nothing is real in this town until you're actually sitting. You've got your butt in the seat and you're watching the movie start. <laughs> right. You know, hopefully it says 20th Century Fox on it. That's, that's my dream. 
Well, uh, I know it was a dream come true to have this day become a reality. June yes. 9th will never be the same. No, it won't. Uh, I hope you're doing something fun tonight to celebrate Richard Blade Day. Oh, Not I, just being here with us. No, I'm going to go back. I'm going to have dinner with the wife and watch a replay of this so I can say, <laughs> doesn't Marla look great in red? <laughs> you better be up. For more information, you can go to richardblade.com, and we also have all of his information on our uh, website, which is foxla.com. Oh. Congratulations. Thanks for having me and back. Thanks for dropping by.